Hi, this is Mike. And this is Carly from Gear Diary. And Mike and I this morning got the opportunity to go for a four mile run together, which was awesome all by itself. But what made it even better is that we got to include our awesome gear, in this case, our GPS watches. The watch that I have is by Nike. It's the Nike Plus system, which has a GPS watch with TomTom, Tom, as well as a foot pod sensor that goes into your shoes. I have the Garmin Forerunner 405. Garmin makes a whole line of Forerunners. This one has a minimal button design with a touch-sensitive uh, touch bezel for all of the different options. It does not come with a foot pod normally. You can buy one extra, which I don't have, but it does come with a heart rate monitor. So it's one of those things where each watch has its own trade-offs as far as what's included in the box and what's an optional accessory. Now the first thing, or when we got back, one of the things that we had noticed, and actually even during the run, was how well the... Uh, the systems compared to each other in terms of the distance. So so I, I, we did four miles. I came up with 4.11. And I came up with 4.15. So four hundredths of a mile over the course of a four mile run. Very accurate. That's a variance of you ran ahead of me for a minute. I fell behind. We crossed paths along a hill. I mean, there's a lot of small variances. And I've even gone running with, friends, with a friend who has a different GP, Garmin GPS watch. And we've come up with very similar mm. issues if we're off by teensiest bit. Yep. What's the MSRP on both of them? So this Nike watch comes w with more or less what you see here as well as a cable that plugs into the computer for 169 I don't know off the top of my head what the MSRP is for this. I want to say it's probably in the 200 somewhere, but you can usually find it for 199 179 something like that on Amazon. And similar to Carly's watch, you can get a heart rate monitor for this for an additional 30 or $40. Uh, now in terms of transferring data to the computer, what this system has is built right into the, the watch band itself is a USB connector. So you simply plug it into the computer. But since this takes up a fair amount of space, it comes with a cable that is a male to female, clamps over this, and then plugs into the laptop so you can plug something in at the same time. And it has its own special software, auto starts, as soon as you plug it in, uploads to their site. Uh, it is all very Nike specific. You can share some places, um, but it doesn't have a real automated uh, export to standard running sites. This uses Garmin's uh, Connect system. The way that Garmin syncs is with an Amp Plus adapter that's a wireless dongle that plugs into your computer. When it senses that the watch is nearby, it will automatically connect and sync as long as all, all the software is running. That's kind of handy because you can literally just drop the watch on the desk and go take a shower. When you come back, your workout's been uploaded. The, uh, the nice thing about the Garmin system is that it does allow you to ex export things in a standard file. So, for example, my favorite running log is runningahead.com, and I can upload my Garmin data from Garmin Connect straight to running ahead very easily and be able to keep everything in sync nicely and get all that elevation data and speed and everything else that I don't know from just looking at the history. I can upload it without having to manually type it all in, which is really... Uh, very convenient. The Garmin Connect software also lets you, and I haven't played with this too much, but it does allow you to create interval workouts. So let's say that I want to run a mile and then run you know, five sets of 400 meter intervals. It will actually be set. I can go in and program it and then tell the watch that's what I'm going to run. So when I run one mile, it's going to beep and tell me, okay, start your first interval. At the end of 400 meters, it will say, okay, time for your first rest interval. Time for you to know, continually beep and alert me along the way, which is a nice touch. Yeah. I know that there are intervals and laps in here. I see them in the settings, but it's not something I've ever played with. And, and I know that I've read on Nike forums some pretty mixed results. Mike, um, you're looking to buy a new GPS watch. Would you want to buy this one again? For me, the, the big selling point is the integration with the Nike shoes. I love my Nike free runs. This just sits underneath my foot in there. I never even know that it's there. And so on one 5K, I was running through a tunnel. The GPS was gone at that point. And, but this kept me on track the entire time. So when I looked at my run log, it had me all the way through. In terms of the GPS technology itself, um, I don't think it's as good as the Garmin. I think the TomTom, -Tom, at least in the areas that I've been running, uh, is not as a robust a technology. It's solid, but if I had to buy another one, chances are I'd look more at the Garmin's. I'm not unhappy with this, but I don't think it's the, necessarily the best choice.
I obviously love my Garmin. I think it's made me a better runner. One of the things I love about my Garmin is that because Garmin was the first and for a long time the most dominant player in the GPS running watch space, there's a lot of institutionalized support for it among running sites with running ahead. If you go to Runner's World, you look at anything, everybody's going to tell you Garmin is the gold standard. And the nice thing about that is you have a problem, you have a question, there's always support, there's always a lot of community uh, support out there. Honestly, I like the style, I like it's comfortable on my wrist, I love the information it gives me, and I would absolutely buy this one in a heartbeat, and I would recommend it to anybody who was interested in one. I think one thing, one final thing that Carly said that really highlights is having one of these does make you a better runner. Absolutely. Otherwise, you're guessing, you're trying to measure on Google Maps or something, but with something like this, you really know what it is you're doing. You have the data uh, to really figure it out. And I think the real-time uh, feedback is helpful. Let's say you're having a bad run, and it's just you're, it's hot, summertime, you don't want to work as hard. When you glance down and you see that your pace is a good 30 seconds off where it should be or where you know you can do, and you're not hurt, you're not tired, there's no reason why you're running slower, you just got hot and tired. It's great to be able to look at that and say, hang on, I can write this ship. This doesn't have to be a bad run. I, I know I can do better, and now I have a reason to because I see exactly how poorly I've been doing. Mm -hmm. We will have links to purchase both of these watches on our, uh, on our post on Gear Diary. This is Carly. And this is Mike from Gear Diary. Thanks for watching, everybody. Let's try to do it again. That's okay. I feel like we're getting it done. I know. Science.